unboxing the CZ Scorpion 3 Plus carving. So right when you open the box, you're going to be greeted with the Scorpion manual. It does have red warning text. And towards the back is going to be a parts diagram. One thing I do want to mention about the manual is that this manual is more specific, or I guess tailored towards the Scorpion pistol. And so in your parts diagram, you're not going to have any of the uh, components rear of the receiver, like the stock or the attachment parts that allow the stock to be attached to the back. Over on the right hand side, you're going to get a kind of a hard shell case with all of your cleaning accessories inside. So it's going to have some wire brushes, patch tools, Allen key up top, a bottle of lubrication, a kind of a pull through cleaning rod, side adjustment tool, a nylon wire brush, and some patches. Very nice that they include that in the box. A lot of manufacturers just don't. You're also going to get a red lock and two newly redesigned Scorpion magazines. Both of the magazines in this box are going to be 20 round magazines. And I'll go over some more of the features uh, in regards to the newly redesigned magazines when I uh, start going over the features of the gun. So let's get everything off the table and we'll start going over the features of the Scorpion 3 Plus. All right, got everything out of the way. As always, we're gonna start off with some close-up shots so you can take in some of the detail. So obviously, you can tell that this is a newly redesigned Scorpion. I've not had this on the channel yet. This has been out uh, for quite some time now, not too long, but it has been out for a little bit. So it's got some very reminiscent looks and feels of the Bryn 2. I do have a video of that. All right, so first up, we'll go over the barrel. So the barrel on the 3 Plus carbine is going to be a 16.3 inch barrel. I could not find, uh, I emailed CZ and attempted to research on what the barrel is constructed of and finished with, but they didn't write me back, nor could I find any info on either of those two things. But it does seem to be nitrided. Like I said, I, I can't be 100% certain there. The end of the barrel is gonna be threaded half by 28, and it does include this kind of faux suppressor. And on the end of the faux suppressor seems to be some flash mitigating on the front here, but the end cap does thread off here and you can thread the faux suppressor off. Next will be the handguard. So very nice design on the handguard here. I really like how they integrated the faux suppressor, the 16 inch barrel, but also at the same time did not really make it look to be 16. So the handguard does extend slightly over that faux suppressor on the front there but I feel like they did a really good job designing the rifle version of this. So on the bottom here, you're gonna have M-lock slots. There's gonna be six present on the bottom, three on the left and right-hand sides, and then you're gonna have picatinny rail across the top, and that's seamless integrating into the upper receiver there. There's also going to be a small cutout here to allow you to go ahead and pull the charging handle, and that is gonna be present on both sides because the charging handle is reversible to the other side. And the handguard is gonna be constructed of fiber reinforced polymer. Moving on back to the upper and lower receivers. Like the handguard, these are also gonna be constructed of fiber reinforced polymer. And like I said, it does have an updated design to closely resemble the Bren and the way that it looks to include the grip and grip angle. The lower receiver is also gonna feature a flared magazine well. I'll go ahead and show you how the magazines look when they're inserted and how easy they are. Very easy insertion right there. And they, they really fly out. I mean, I've got the gun sideways and it just flies right out of there. So one of the biggest gripes that I had personally and that you'll find all over the internet in regards to the Scorpion, at least the previous model, is the grip design, grip angle, 
everything in regards to the grip, everybody uh, almost immediately changes it out. So they completely redesigned the grip here, and I'd say this is a huge win for CZ as far as the newly redesigned one. Very comfortable in the hand. Not super grippy, but just grippy enough, at least for a rifle style platform. Also, discussing the grip, the grip is adjustable for reaching the trigger. So you can move it back and forwards by undoing this Allen key here. You can move the grip forward and back and then tighten it back down. So let's go back to the magazines. So like I said, these are both 20 round magazines and these are newly redesigned for the Scorpion 3 Plus. So the magazines included for the 3 Plus are backwards compatible with your older model Scorpions. However, the older model Scorpion magazines are not compatible with the new 3 Plus platform. So you can see they've added some kind of texturing there, different base plates. Both of them have the CZ logo and CZ USA printed on the bottom. They both have black followers. So it is kind of disappointing that these were kind of designed specifically for this and they didn't implement anything to uh, make the older magazines more backwards compatible with the new ones, but it's uh, not a huge deal, especially if these are more reliable. These are also available in 10 and 30 round capacities. And the third party market seems to have adopted the 3 Plus pretty quickly, so you can find tons of parts to include uh, Magpul magazines that are 35 round capacity. So back over to the gun. Next, we're going to discuss the stock. So one thing I do want to mention uh, in regards to this specific Scorpion that I received, uh, it was missing the roll pin that you can see right there. So what that was basically allowing me to do was when I would want to adjust the stock, I could rip the whole back end off. I'm not sure if that was an oversight or maybe that's just because of regulation or whatever. Uh, but that roll pin was missing. So I did some research and found that it was just a standard size roll pin that I had laying around. So I went ahead and installed that. What that basically does is it stops the stock from being able to be pulled out all the way. So the stock does have three positions. So position one, position two, and position three right there. And you can see the recess notches right there where it clicks into place. The stock is also foldable via this button here, and it does clip into place on the magazine well, as you can see right there. And on the rear side of the stock is going to be a rubber butt pad with the CZ logo on the back there. So on both sides of the stock, there are going to be QD cups, left and right side, and then also on the stock attachment point is going to be a QD cup as well. One thing I do want to test in regards to the QD cups is whether or not they are anti-rotational. So these are free spinning QD cups, at least on the stock attachment. On the stock itself, these are also free spinning. And the other QD cup is also free spinning as well. I would have liked to have seen the stops put in place for those but uh, i guess you can't get everything you'd like in every platform next we will go over the iron sights or backup sights so these are also slightly redesigned but not uh, completely redesigned so they do feature a little bit more height uh, that was also a complaint that i did see these are one-third co-witness uh, for reaching a standard red dot optic sights and they're also milled out of aluminum and the rear sight is going to feature four different aperture sizes. Let's see if I can get a picture of that here. So there's one. There's the very big one. Smaller one. And medium size. And back to the beginning. And the front sight is just your standard single notch sight. And it's adjustable very much like an AR. And both of the sights are hooded uh, and protected. And the rear one is installed via two hex key bolts, and the front one is one hex key bolt. Next, we'll go over the controls. This is one thing I really like about the uh, Scorpion is the just inclusion of ambidextrous controls. 
and they also added in a feature that I think is really cool, and that's the bolt hold and bolt release. So down here by the magwell, they got rid of the paddle mag release. So this is going to be your new bolt hold and bolt release. So as you pull the charging handle to the rear, you can press up and it's going to hold the bolt to the rear. And when you press down, it's going to release the bolt. Very cool inclusion with that. But you can also, to hold the bolt to the rear, you can take your charging handle, pull it to the rear and move it up and it'll lock it in place onto that handguard right there. You're going to have an ambidextrous safety selector. And another thing I do want to mention uh, while I'm on the safety selector is because of the newly redesigned grip, you're no longer uh, having the safety dig into your index finger. You're going to have a standard AR sized magazine release, and that is also ambidextrous right here. All right, that's pretty much it in regards to the controls. So next, I'm going to take this out to the range, shoot a bunch of ammo out of it, and make a little montage for you guys, and then come back, give you my final thoughts and opinions on the new CZ Scorpion 3 Plus. So I will see you guys in a little bit. To the review portion of the video. I always like to be as transparent as possible when it comes to these review videos as I don't do a whole lot of them and I just want people to understand and for myself I just like to be upfront completely. So this firearm wasn't provided to me by CZ. I have no relationship with CZ. It also wasn't provided to me by any distributor or shop or any other seller for that matter. And there's also no sponsors for this video, so all the ammo that I used was provided by me, or when I had friends come over and try it out, they were bringing their own ammo as well. So it's a mixture of 115 grain factory ammo, 124 grain ball ammo, and some 124 grain reloads of mine. I didn't completely pay attention uh, to how many rounds we ended up shooting out of it, but I wanna say maybe 500 plus were shot, and that was straight out of the box. No cleaning, no lubrication, no anything like that. So as it stands right now, it's also not been lubricated or cleaned. So when I go over this next portion, we'll go ahead and take a look at that bolt. So how I like to kind of structure my review videos is by first going over the negative aspects of a firearm. I feel like in some ways that can be more important to hear first and then hear the positives. So the first thing I do want to talk about is going to be just the inherent thing about the Scorpion is that it's a blowback 9mm rifle. So there's two, I guess, drawbacks to that. So generally, blowback guns can be dirty. So you may see a lot of carbon buildup on the bolt there. And the second thing in regards to the bolt is that it is pretty heavy. And that's kind of something you have to deal with when it comes to 9mm and blowback firearms is a heavy bolt to kind of slow itself down when it comes to the higher pressure of 9mm. So I'm going to take down the gun and show you guys the bolt and see how dirty it got after 500 plus rounds and then we'll compare the weight to a standard AR bolt. All right so I've got the Scorpion kind of in its state of where you would kind of want to take it down when cleaning it. Here's the fire control housing. So it's not super, super dirty. 
and here is the bolt, which is quite dirty. As you can see on my fingers there, there's tons of carbon buildup. The bolt is one solid piece of steel, and it definitely has kind of like a nitride coating on it. As you can see, I've just barely been touching it and my fingers are already completely dirty. So let's go ahead and measure the weight of this compared to a standard AR-15 bolt carrier group. So here is my Geisley RE-BCG bolt carrier group. So that comes in right at 11.6 ounces. And here is the CZ Scorpion bolt. That's at one pound, 6.1 ounces. So like I said, it is significantly heavier. So again, that's one of the negatives when it comes to a nine millimeter blowback gun. Let's get this back together and I'll go over the final two negative points that I'd like to make and then move on over to the positives. All right, so this next point I'd like to make could be seen as a positive for some people, uh, but for me personally, I'm, I am kind of like simplicity in my firearms, and that deals with the multiple ways that you can drop the bolt slash charge the Scorpion. It kind of reminds me of the amount of ways that you can eject magazines on the Flux Defense Raider. There's like three or four different ways to drop a magazine and uh, load up another one or however it's done but I do think one way of accomplishing something is kind of a nice way to train to a firearm as opposed to having three different ways so I like I demonstrated in the shooting footage you can charge it by pulling the charging handle back and just letting it go you can lock the charging handle up like this and you can kind of HK slap it or you can pull the charging handle to the rear, press up right there, and you can do this on this side as well as on the other side. And you push down to release the bolt. I can see that some people would view that as a positive for redundancy measures, but I just kind of like one way to do something similar to the MP5. There's only one way to charge the weapon and that's kind of how they left it and lastly when it comes to the negatives i don't like the inclusion of two 20 round magazines i don't understand why the pistol version comes with two 30 round magazines i think maybe it should be the other way around it is a much smaller platform with the pistol version and maybe they should include 30 rounders with the rifle and 20 with the pistol or just put 30 rounders in both of them. I think uh, 20 rounds, uh, while some people may like the smaller form factor, that's why I kind of mentioned that I think the 20 rounders should be included with the pistol version. But that's pretty much it when it comes to my negatives. Now let's move on over to the positives. So I know I said I didn't like the multiple ways that you can charge and drop the bolt on the Scorpion. One thing I do like is that this entire platform is essentially ambidextrous. Um, so you're gonna have an ambi magazine release on both sides, ambi bolt stop and bolt release, and an ambi safety selector. Are moving to ambidextrous controls. I almost forgot to mention it, but you can also switch the charging handle over to the other side. You can also even run double charging handles if you really like to do that. One of the most positive things that myself, as well as many other YouTube reviewers and many people I've seen talk about is the changes when it comes to the grip and safety selector position. So on the original Scorpion 3, essentially the first thing you would have to do is change out the grip because when that safety selector was in the fire position, it would just dig into your index finger if you're a right-handed shooter. No longer is that present on the Scorpion 3 Plus as they've completely mitigated any touching of the safety selector on your index finger. The newly designed grip is way more ergonomic and I would say it doesn't really even need an upgrade, but you can upgrade it if you so choose. The 
slight grip texture and very nice angle of that grip lends to a much more pleasant shooting experience as compared to the older Scorpion model. So one thing I have to commend CZ on is their ability to design a nice looking rifle within the confines of what a US legal rifle is. So if you've got a stock and you market this as a rifle, it has to have a 16 inch barrel. So I think they did a really good job integrating the hand guard with the faux suppressor all in a package with a 16 inch barrel. I like how they kind of tucked the faux suppressor inside of the hand guard there. The other thing I like is that this hand guard isn't ridiculously long and it's also not super short either. So in summary, I really enjoy shooting this mainly from the perspective of it's not an AR-15. The AR-15 is probably one of my favorite rifles to shoot for many reasons. It's soft shooting, easy to maintain, easy to clean, parts availability, so on and so forth. I like how this feels different as well as new. It's extremely lightweight because of all their uses of polymer. It's pretty easy to get past the negative points in regards to the mul multiple ways to charge and drop the bolt by just sticking with one. So I do recommend if this is something not in your collection and you're looking to add something that's not standard to your collection, I would recommend something like this. I think it's a great platform to get into. The aftermarket is huge, even with this new version. And there's already companies adopting the newly designed magazines. So if you guys have any questions on the CZ Scorpion 3 Plus carbine, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you all for watching.